everyone, welcome to One Flight Down. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, part two of our look into non-alcoholic beers. Uh, my last episode, I tried three different non-alcoholic beers uh, that were given to me uh, by my friend Scott. So I, I didn't go out and look for anything. These were just ones that uh, found their way to me. And uh, if there are other non-alcoholic beers that you'd like to see me try uh, that we could feature on the show, uh, let me know. And uh, when we revisit this topic again, I, I would certainly do that. So today we're going to start with the brewery we ended with last time, which is uh, Partake Brewing out of uh, Toronto. Um, it's a red ale. Now Partake, from the last episode that I did, of the three I tried, I thought it was the, the, the best of the three. It was an IPA and it tasted very close to other uh, lighter IPAs that I've had, so um, yeah, that was uh, it was the best of of the three for sure. So let's see what we think of the red ale. Um, I'm start just basically starting with this one because I'm working from like sort of lightest to darkest. I've got I've got uh, a couple darker ones I'm going to do after this, uh, but here we go. Okay, I can see a nice red color as it pours out. Now that looks like a decent red ale, right? That's uh, maybe a little more brown than red. No, it's 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 a decent red. Um, definitely, you know, see through it. You can <laughs> see you can see my finger moving around. You can, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty clear. Sort of a tan-colored head that. Uh, it's pretty good. A lot of these non-alcoholic beers, the, the head goes away immediately. This has uh, got a little bit of head retention to it. Yeah, let's see what it smells like. Not bad. I'm getting a definite malty note on the nose. Let's uh, go in for, for a taste here. It's all right. It's um, yeah, definitely malty. Um, like this actually does taste like a beer. I mean, <laughs> I know it is a beer, but a lot of non-alcoholic beers, what happens in the brewing process a lot of the time from, from what I've read uh, is that um, they, they put up, they turn up the heat. They start to boil off the alcohol, I guess is how it works. And when that happens, they're also losing some of the taste. But this is pretty flavorful if you if you like your maltier kind of kinds of beers. It's pretty light on the body. Um, it's a little bit sweet as well. Not not overly though, but there's 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 a bit of a sweetness to it. Um, but it's it's mostly just the the, the maltier notes that, that are really sticking out. Uh, let's see what the can says about this. Um, it is 0.3% alcohol, uh, 25 calories, um, ingredients are water, barley, hops, and yeast. Uh, yeah, that's all it really tells me. Yeah, there is a bit of an odd finish to it. And I, I, I'm finding that with all these non-alcoholic beers that, that, that the finish is just a little lifeless. But um, if I was looking for something that, that, that tasted, um, you know, uh, like a full, um, full alcohol beer uh, without having the alcohol, this is, this is pretty close. Um, there is a difference um, for sure. And I'm, like I said, I think I noticed that more in the finish than anything else. But this is decent. If you like a, a maltier kind of a beer, um, this is okay. This is this is all right. I don't love it, but but it's all right. Uh, all right. So moving on, we're now doing something from Libra, which is a brewery out in uh, Prince Edward Island. Um, this is their stout. Uh, it's zero point four percent alcohol. Last time around, I did a Pilsner from Libra, and I, I wasn't hugely thrilled with that, but uh, let's see how the stout is. Okay. 
it's, uh, yeah, I'm sure you can't hear this, but it's a very uh, bubbly, active head. Uh, not like the sort of creaminess you often get with a stout. Uh, Color-wise, though, quite dark. Um, hold it under the light here. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess, more of a, a, a deep, deep brown. Um, on the nose, a little bit of a sweetness coming through. Uh, let's go in and see what this is like. Yeah, sorry, I just... There's like a hint of stout flavor in here. Um, and then just a really bad aftertaste. It, it does taste really watered down, overly carbonated. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's not very good. Um, like I said, I, I really would like to find uh, some non-alcoholic beers uh, doing these episodes that I can actually recommend to someone. So far, Libra, the two I've had from them, I'm, I'm really not very thrilled. Uh, I think the Pilsner wasn't bad to start with and then kind of lost me along the way. It's just kind of right off the hop. Off the hop. It's not tasting um, very much like a stout at all. Yeah, the mouthfeel is really, really light. Uh, it it feels like just very carbonated and gassy, which is like not really something I associate with stouts. So you kind of want that more of a creamy kind of a thing. Um, so that's unfortunate. One interesting thing, it doesn't really have that lingering aftertaste that, that all the other ones have. I mean, there is one, but it's not as pronounced as it is in, in all the other non-alcoholic beers that I've tried so far in, in these videos. So I'm going to have one more sip and just maybe it's going to get a little better for me. Now, so finally, uh, from the Big Drop Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, it's the Galactic Dark Noir. It's a stout style non-alcoholic beer. Um, I was quite disappointed with the the pale ale that they did. Um, I'm hoping this their 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 galactic uh, galactic dark noir stout will be a little better. Okay, so that that definitely the the uh, color of the head. It was it was definitely uh, was because it's gone already, uh, but had that you know kind of kind of deeper uh, look to it, kind of like a chestnutty kind of color. Yeah, definitely getting some roasty notes on the nose. Weirdly, it it smells slightly boozy, uh, which is interesting. Uh, not what I would expect at all, but I'm, I'm sure that's something else that I'm getting that I'm just attributing to, uh, to alcohol. Okay, time to go in for a sip. Well, it's definitely better uh, than the Libra was. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's got kind of like a, a, a burnt note to it. Yeah, there's definitely some, uh, a, a chocolate note in there and something just kind of like a roasted something or other. Kind of getting an immediate, um, stout-like flavor. So it's not, it's not bad. It's, a uh, very bitter aftertaste, um, but it's a little more of a beer-like aftertaste than, than I was getting from some of the other non-alcoholic ones. Uh, what can I tell you about this? Uh, it is 0 0.4, never more than 0 0.4% uh, percent alcohol, uh, 36 IBUs, uh, it uses Bramling Cross hops, which I've never heard of before. Ingredients are... Water, milk, uh, 
barley malt, oats, rye, hops, yeast, and cocoa nibs. It's not bad in like kind of a grading on a curve kind of a way. I, and I think I've, I find that with all these that um, compare like compared to another stout, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily go for this. Like in some ways, I think it just reminds me more of like a like a dark ale rather than than a stout, like a. Uh, Fort Gary Dark uh, is one that springs to mind. It actually reminds me a, a bit of Fort Gary Dark. It's kind of got that kind of roasty, burnt sort of a, a taste to it. Um, yeah, it's it's comparable to that. If you if you like Fort Gary Dark, and you're looking for a non-alcoholic beer, it's be a, a pretty decent substitute, I would think. So in the last episode, I, I really didn't like the uh, Big Drop Pale. Uh, at all. The stout is a little better than that. Um, with Libra, I found that there's uh, the Pilsner wasn't great, but uh, either was the stout. Uh, and, and Partake, both of those were, were, were okay. But the aftertaste seems to be what doesn't work for me in, in these non-alcoholic beers so far. I mean, I will try others if there are any others that somebody would like to see me try or somewhere down the road, I just might be in the mood for giving another one a shot. Uh, but of the ones I've tried, yeah, so far, it's just there seems to be something in the aftertaste that I really don't care for. Uh, but that said, um, I think the options for non-alcoholic beers are still better than they were. Usually you think of non-alcoholic beers, you think of uh, just sort of like there's there's a lot of major brands, Beck's and Heineken, a little bat, uh, Molson, lots of different um, big name beer companies would so just do a very watered down version of what they have. Um, and yeah, it just, it basically just tasted watered down. Uh, at least now it's kind of nice to see there are companies that are specializing in non-alcoholic beers and trying uh, their best to come up with something that's that's fairly close to uh, the real thing. So there's my take on uh, some non-alcoholic beers. And again, a big thanks to my friend Scott who provided these. I was, because I was really wanting to do an episode like this for a while, especially with dry February going on. And... Uh, I, I didn't want to go out and buy a six pack or something that I'm only going to drink one of. So I appreciate that, Scott. Thank you for uh, bringing these down. Um, and yeah, I like I said, there's nothing here I'm super enthusiastic about, but um, yeah, uh, things have come a long way. So so that's good to see. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. We got uh, some more shows coming up in the near future. Stay safe and uh, drink local when you can. Cheers, everybody.